No put out for the third time, cool. That side don't cast. Welcome back. This is still tea time on Floss TV Africa. I don't know why you're keeping the third time. Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> on the side of the car. Uh, what are you keeping inside? It's not for this. It's, it's not for the first no, time. It's for her and so why did I say that no keep on for this first time? Maybe that's... it's four. The, the four is now four. In the okay, time. so yeah. they're gonna keep the yeah inside, the inside the boot or something. Or something. What did they keep for yeah, this? I don't know. You know, let's try to keep on for the other side on cast. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, yes, because then they check them. Exactly. Where would they keep them now? I don't, I don't know. What, what did he keep? What, but this guy's been on the know. show now. Why yeah. did you ask him when he was on Why the show? Why ask him? What did he say? He said, you don't cast, you don't cast. You <laughs> <laughs> anyways, let's move on. And this is quite a sad story. You know, one of our legendary rapper. What's my name? Yeah, you guys know that song, right? Mm -hmm. What's my name, mm -hmm. right? You know who that is? Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, rapper DMX remains hospitalized and on life support in White Plains, New York. The rapper suffered a heart attack Friday around 11 p.m. at his home in White Plains and was taken via ambulance to a local hospital where he remains <laughs> on a ventilator. Richman said the attorney said they did not know what may have caused the heart attack he also said he has known DMX for 25 years and says Saturday evening that he has been in touch with the rapper's family all day. He said that he is aware of the rapper's medical prognosis but declined to comment on it. We ask um, that you please keep um, DMX and us in your thoughts, wishes and prayers as well as respect our privacy as we face these challenges, the rapper's family said in a statement. Why do you laugh? Hmm? Why do you laugh when you read Vincent? It's a hospital. <laughs> it's hospital. Uh -huh. Hospita. <laughs> it's not hospital. Hosp hospital. I mean, some people say it like that. Hospital. Mm. I'm not American actually. <laughs> yeah. Hospita. Hospita. Hospital. Uh, hospital. Here. Eh? Right? right? Hospital. hospital. Yeah. yeah. Hey, said you full confidence. Uh, here. We, that's, that's how we that's how we that's how yeah. that's the Nigerian accent. Hospital. Okay. No, it's not Nigerian accent. What's hospital. the pro pro proper what's pronunciation? The hospital. It depends on where you're from now. British what's the are, problem? Yeah, what's British the British? British? Well, yeah. How do you say? We have Nigeria. I'm not British. How do you say? I'm not British. But well, you're colonized by one. <laughs> and so you should answer the question too. Well, Os well you're not here when they're colonizing us. Hospital. <laughs> hospital. It's an hospital. 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 Yeah, it's not hospital. <laughs> Oh my! Gang, gang, look good like. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, no jokes. Still, a man, a man is in the hospital, and. <laughs> He's in a hospital and probably in a vegetative state. Ah uh, ah! Uh. Why? How do you say it's a vegetative state? He has brain damage. Yes. Have you not? Mm. Haven't you seen it? It's in a vegetative state right now. Vegetative is a harsh word. Now. That is a word on the internet. That is a word from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel sad. Dmx is a a legend, really. Mm. That we like. That he's alive. Um, I hope he pulls through. I mean, I have hope from, uh, what's his name now? Dr. Dre. Dr. Oh. Dre was just as bad. He mm. had his old brain tumor thing going on. Um, and then a stroke. His was a stroke, I think. Oh, Dr. Dre? Yeah. Brain aneurysm. Yeah, but he also had something where it was, it mm. was bad. It had mm. where, the reason why they rushed him out or something. Anyway, so I'm hoping that, you know, sometimes, sometimes really, like I've, I've noticed that this year, you find really bad news from the hospital, like... Hospital. That's how I would say it. Um, mm -hmm. That, you know, this person did this and, and they give you all these things that makes it look like it's done. This person is not going to make it. And they do. They actually do. Like, I told you about my friend that fell off the... Balcony. The balcony, oh. yeah. Like, I saw he said inside. I saw, like, yeah, I was like, yeah, he's gone. And then when he was not feeling his legs and stuff, I'm like, even if he comes, pulls through... He's probably not going to be able to walk and da, da, da. He's fine. He's fine. The only thing that he has now is a pure pure in his arm. So I think that um, the human body is very capable and able of... But yeah, your of, body. No, I don't know. He's still recovering. So, you know, the human body is very capable and able of um, um, doing better than, than um, suggested, it? if that makes sense. Yes. So I'm hoping the same thing for him. I know that he's a lot older, mm. um, which is not always a favor in terms of like how fast the body can right. heal. But I like what the, the family said in a statement that, we, you know, just having the his positive thoughts towards him and praying for him, all that kind of stuff helps as well. And I just hope that he's having the best possible treatment. Mm. And obviously I'll be following the story because it's DMX and I'm mm. hoping that he pulls through, yeah. The, um, reading the story, there was a part where they mentioned 
that he's been battling drugs and all of that. Mm. I don't know, like, I wish there's, there's something these um, artists can do to, like, not really get themselves into um, this drug of a thing because it's really costing a lot yeah. on them. Mm. And that, that's, that's the part that I, I saw and I was like, okay. And then I thought about how if he doesn't make it, God forbid, he has 15 children. Like reading that, I was like fifteen, fifteen kids, and mm. obviously not from, not One from person. same person. So I don't know. That's that's like how many kids do you want to have? Two. 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 No, I, I, I didn't say two. I was going to say something. Yeah. Three. Right. Mm. Yeah. Two more to go. Okay. Two more to go. Two more to go. So to you go. started. Oh, you started. Then we finish up after two more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you take. All right. So um, for me, right, um, I think I'm going to follow on this path that you just said. Because um, addiction, like I always say, is mm, a disease. Addiction okay. is not something to overlook. Don't look because somebody went to the rehab and came out and you think it's good. There are different triggers to drug abuse, right? Yes, is there a way to stay out of it? But the moment you're in it, there's certain drugs that it only takes one time mm. for you to try out and you're hooked on it. Do you understand? Now, there are different people with, with, you know, I've done my research a lot. There are a lot of functional addicts. The people course. that work with us. There are it's people that work with Dinos. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? That actually are on drugs, but you can never tell. Yeah, it's like nicotine. Nicotine is a drug. How many people are? Do you understand? You can never nicotine. tell. So I think it's 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 okay when you already have an impression. You know, always check up on such people. Mm. Always make sure they're good. Always make sure they go for the check. It's not enough okay, for them to tell you, you that. Are you saying that DMX is an addict? Yes, DMX has been an addict yes, for a yes. long time. Why has he not been clean for a long time either? No, he hasn't been clean. From That's what I'm saying. Look, it's like um, what happened with um, Wendy Williams, right? When she had a relapse. And she had to speak about addiction to crack cocaine. Mm. What she said was, um, I've been a walking addict for a long time. That is, she's actually been on drugs. Almost every Wendy Williams show you saw, she was probably on drugs. Probably. Now, don't quote me. She was probably on drugs. But she did those shows, right? Mm. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, it wasn't until something triggered it that she had to come out to say this. Mm. But all the people knew that, okay, this woman was a crack addict, but they left her, right? No one was checking on her. No one was saying that she's good. All they were saying yeah. was the success. They were saying the progress. They were saying all of those things. Uh, yeah. and it, Sorry to cut you. Don't say no one was checking on her. Cause maybe, I apologize maybe. for saying that. Okay, so I don't know, but I wish you could be a little I bit... I don't think checking on you is what you need when it comes to... I mean, that can help but i think there's some things that just need proper professional um, oh, well, there's no professional hands. stuff when it comes to drug addiction or that that's the way i say it no there is i think that's the only thing you've got really yeah me taking on you and giving you speeches you. does not, not do anything. Not do anything you need proper toxicology which is to remove the drugs from your system mm. and then you need rehabilitation yeah. a, a physiotherapy a psychologist a therapist and all of that to not get your mind because even um, addiction comes from somewhere it's a coping mechanism for mm. something, something for yeah. a trauma or whatever so you get to the way? bottom of that i cannot do that for a friend i cannot yeah i can it's stick just, to it's... your hip and I'm not able to help you to do that. Even if you tell me all the stories sure. in the world, I don't think I have the capacity to now break everything down for you in a way to yeah. then give you healing. Like, I might be lucky to help. And I like the idea of, you know, having them re um, reminded that they have support. Like, they have people who are cheering for them and are there for them. But you need medical help. And I think that's something I really want to tell women because I know that women, maybe the, the nurturing instinct kicks in and everybody wants to form therapist and doctor mm. for their friend or their lover that has addiction issues or drug issues you cannot help you cannot love that person right it's like you, just like you cannot love him um, love him till malaria leaves his body you have to mm. take drugs yeah. it's the same way you cannot love him till he stops when taking drugs. Um, hard drugs either but the reason why i didn't want to bring up drugs even with dmx when i read the stories is because there was nothing um um, to say um, vehemently that he was still on drugs. Do you know what I mean? No, he and a drug overdose. It, it was, yeah, yeah. It was no. missing. It was OD. He OD'd. It was a drug was overdose. There. No, but isn't that, wasn't that just, um, what's it called? Um, perception. No, wasn't that just um, perceptions? Like, no. That they were suggesting that. This lawyer refused to talk about the drugs, but the hospital... Mentioned. Hospital. <laughs> you know, acknowledged okay, call it whatever. that he OD'd. Okay. 
All right, I didn't know the hospital. I thought it was just like Twitter rumors, and I didn't want to be talking about rumors. No, no, that's not very nice. You all did actually. Okay. A heart attack is from a lot of drugs. Mm. Mixed okay. with alcohol mm. and maybe fentanyl and a lot of other mm. drugs. Do you understand? His church people should pull through now because I know what? his church people. He was in church recently, yeah. like a lot. And I felt I what are they going to do? What are they going to do? I don't know. Like I'm sure there's also spiritual support. I thought we also give. said that, man. There are times that you don't need to be doing prayer for certain things. No, I think you why can. do you I want to be now. a spiritual nuisance? It can. No, right I mean now. you can. Right. Uh, yeah, it, it can actually. It can. Yes, you can. Right. Right. And this, most most this, of this most people. Are you praying for someone to stop using drugs. Of course. Just like you of show course. love, you add emotional support. It all depends support, on what you believe in. Physical support, <laughs> medical support. I don't. Think, I mean, everything together. I think it helps. Well, everything together. But heart goes out to you know DMX, and then I was just hope, wish him a speedy recovery. The vegetative states cannot work for you, sir, because we mm. need that energy, that yeah. ginger. You know. Really yeah. need that energy. What was that his voice again? There was Tisha, Latisha. <laughs> Brenda. Did you, did you jump, did you jump on that do, challenge, I, do, I, do. I think, I'll I think this is the time to jump on that challenge, you Actually. know, as, as a form of support for oh. DMX. I think we should bring back that challenge, yeah? Mm, we Don't can. you think? I mean, people have not, a lot of people have not done it. Yeah, so maybe. Uh, would you do it yesterday? A lot of people did. Mm, but a lot of people have not done it. Would you do it yesterday? Would you do it yesterday? No, not today. What about you? Time. Would you do yours this week? I don't have week? a phone either. No. This week? You don't have a phone. This week maybe, but today, no. Anyway, we are buying for our buy for My birthday <laughs> is December. <laughs> anyway, um, let's move on to the next story. On April 3rd, 2021, Nigerian singer Peruzzi appeared on a popular TV show where he discussed a few issues, including the ongoing drama he has with Patrick Kanyene, the CEO of Golden Boy Entertainment, a record label to which he was signed before he joined David O's DMW. He said, you're still going on... Okay, so this is what INA said. Yes, okay, no, this is what Perez said. You're still going on social media. It means it's not favoring you now. Me, I'm good. Me, I like court. E, he was talking about Patrick, got me arrested one time now. I landed from Lagos to Abuja. I had a show and he got me arrested. You say you have an artist, 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 right? <laughs> and that you have a contract and the artist breached the contract. That means if you go to court, you would win the case for sure right so why don't you just go there i mean they captured the video and reposted on the social media with a caption a at perizzi i have kept quiet for a, for a minute because your lawyers begged i stopped social media until after the court case i rest i arrested you and you cried as usual i have so much to leak but the contract is enough you're a clown for real mm. <sighs> Mm. Artists and record label, they will always have issues. Yeah. I don't know when that will ever, ever, ever stop. Like, yeah. And also, uh, Peruzzi. <laughs> Peruzzi has sharp mouth. He does. <laughs> he does. Did you guys, um, listening to what he said, after, I think someone made a video of that, yeah. So after the video was done, someone commented and said, um, in that video and said, ungrateful, whatever. Someone yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know who who did that. In the video that that the uh, the the Anyenye, is that Anyenye. Anyenye. Patrick just takes it back. Okay, Patrick. The video that Patrick recorded on TV mm -hmm. of this guy, he was someone in the background said was saying that look, this this that look at this um, ungrateful person B word. I don't know. I don't know what. These are the B words. Yeah. B A B A. Oh, okay. I don't know what what to believe, but. If you have a fight with someone, that's a contract, right? Mm. I think you should do it the legal way. I mean, if, if you really want to, like, I don't know, um, point out something or trash, whatever. Mm. So you go and do it the legal way. Go to court. You guys settle whatever issues it is. But he's, according to Peruzzi, that has a sharp mouth, he's saying that uh, Patrick has refused to, like, take it to court and all of that. And then Patrick is coming out to warn him again that I have a law, da 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 da, da you're going to cry. And mm. they should just go and settle themselves, please. And God should help artists and um, record label because I mean that that kind of story will never stop coming out. Yeah I think the problem for me that I've noticed with the little engagement I've had with record labels and artists and the things that I've noticed is that <clears throat> a lot of it starts with vibes um, mm. and we're the only industry in the world that starts, that with, starts vibes. with vibes. Mm. Most people even if you like the banker so much the banker's not going to touch your account unless you employ him to do that. 
but with artists it's always vibes mm. um i like this guy let me record for you let me do this for you and lots of things are not set in stone yeah lots of things are not set in stone a lot of a lot of people believe in your work i want to give it to you for free yeah. and then um after a while when you blow like, it now becomes hard to go back and, and trace yeah. which one is do i pay you back for which one i'm supposed to be grateful for and then another thing that makes our industry really unique is that our work is not um, tangible, it's intangible, meaning that we're not dealing with Yama and Pepe, right? We're dealing with songs. And songs are quite connected to the artist. Mm. So it's very personal. Yeah. It's like school. Like school is a very tricky place because you're dealing with people's children. So people are overly sensitive about how you treat their children and all of that. So you have overly sensitive artists, which they should be because it's their heart and their song and all of that. But then you also have people that are funding this vision. Mm. And funding an artist is not beans. I've seen that as well. So yes, you might believe in this guy and you're expecting loyalty. That's another problem. So vibes is a problem I've noticed. And then loyalty. Mm -hmm. You're expecting loyalty from this guy, which is okay. So when you're being nice and you're saying, oh, I've got you, I believe in your sound, you're going to blow one day, take this house, do this thing, do this thing. They're expecting loyalty back. But then you're forgetting that for the artist, they also need to make money. So then when they get a record label that's bigger, like Maven, that says, oh, come and do this thing with proper structures and everything, they see that as, they see that as God elevating them mm -hmm. and they want to do better and get their music out there. But then the record label that did vibes for you is now saying no. And that we, you want to be my stumbling like, block. Hey, yeah. Do you understand? I've seen that thing happen too many times on so many scales small scale large scale so this to me seems like one of those things the reason why he um and mm. called Peruzzi for me can say that outrightly is because it wasn't documented mm. that's why he knows yeah, that's why he's that saying, he's saying exactly take, take it to, to court. court take it to why why are you addressing uh, court why can't you just sit with don jazzy or whoever else it's because he knows that all those things were not genuinely documented mm. i don't remember i don't know if you remember when this story first came out ages ago when Peruzzi was like, oh, you said you're feeding me, feeding me, I know your artist is supposed to provide accommodation, da, da, da. Yeah. was it written? Was it written that you actually own that thing? Who are we talking about here that we were arguing so much, if it, and then, I, oh, it was um, um, DJ Copy and Zlatan. Oh. It's the same thing. That was not even a record label thing, but somebody expected something, and somebody did not um, expect well, the same thing. Sorry, so you way. wanted loyalty, and you wanted um, 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 money, but I didn't think that um, my loyalty was, was what, what you gave me was, was good enough for money, because you're assuming. So if it's not set in stone, if it's not written in paper, then it's all guesswork. And I think that's what happened here. So please, artists and record label and anyone who wants to put money into the music business, vibes is good. Absolutely. Because you don't want to work with people that you don't, you know, connect with. That's fine. But put it in paper. Have something written down somewhere to just say, when you do this thing for me, or this is why I owe you, I don't owe you more. So a situation like what you said, if uh, it has happened that, okay, I, I'm, I'm with you, the, the, the small little... Um, where your pattern record label is with this guy and yeah. then if you get one comes to take that person or take them elevate them and all what do you think the small one should do okay so to so me i think every small record label should have a close on how long they want to work with that person okay so the one i know they do 16 months right 16 months if you're distributing music with me 16 months you have um, what's it called? You cannot distribute with anybody else. So if your offer comes, you let them know, I'm already connected or engaged with this person for this long. I cannot mm. do that. Then as an artist, if you want to now breach the contract, you should now be able to now settle that record label well because you have breached that contract. Okay. All right. So for me personally, I just think um, a lot of these um, artists that keep shouting courts, 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 because you know that your previous person doesn't have the level of mouth or because you know that in Nigeria, the legal system kind of delays because you're saying that oh, when you go to court you spend money you think it wow that's not justice delayed is never justice denied so if you know you're in the wrong and you're boasting with courts when it happens we're not going to choke mouth are you choke mouth mm -mm. let's speak of phonetics you choke takes time now, does it? Mm. is it all court stuff that take time well when it comes to cases like this it takes a while because right. they have to go back yeah to they have to go back to days that. dates mm contracts, payments, And receipts. isn't there a way that you can have legal... This is for you now. Do you think there's a way you can have legal battles outside of the court? Like, your yeah, lawyer and my lawyer courts. are just fighting courts. each other yeah. before it gets to the court. courts where we just sit down and we just settle things, mm. you know, save, um, savely. Yeah.